Hey there, I've been working away and I got some seating in, but now the trench is nearly ready. So there's some figures I'm thinking about putting in, some old figures. I'll repaint him. Because I'm getting a lot better at figure painting now. Not great at it, but you do get better and I, I assume that the more I do it, the better I'll get. Eventually I'll be good at it. Um, so yeah, this trench, it, it, it's, it's looking very good and the seating was really easy to build so that wasn't too hard. And I've made the wood very dark and, and muddy looking but um, yeah, I've gone for that really old wood look. So I've used a very dark oil to paint it. But uh, painting wood is, is very easy. It's, um, you mainly do it with oils. Just choose your oil, like this time I used um, this mint one. Um, but this one, it's really good, it gives you that um, old dark sort of look, mouldy sort of look. But um, yeah, just any oils, really uh, brownish oils look good with wood. Yellow ochre is really good. Yellow ochre with a little bit of umber. Um, looks really good with wood. Then you can even go with the reds and all that, just depends what kind of wood you're trying to represent. And if you want to know how I carve that wood up, you can go to a playlist I've got in, on my channel called Diorama Tactics, and it will show you how I carve that wood. I've got a little uh, video in there that shows you how I carve it up. But yeah, it looks, well, I'm really happy with how it's coming out. So, um, and that's with its little tank on top and we can make up some now pansy jaegers and it sits a lot better now because it's got that tree stump this new acrylic resin I got I'll show you it's, it's really good so I got this from the art store I mean yeah the art store it's a, it's a texture paste and also I be, I've got this too. You get these from art stores. It's like the base of your paint, of your acrylic paint and you can add your own pigments to it. So I got this texture stuff. Um, I'll open it up. And this is how I'm making the mud now. And you see that? It's, it's thick. It's like it's kind of, it's very thick. It's extremely thick. You, you, if you add pigments to that, it just turns it into this, um, the pigment, it's dry anyway. But yeah, if you add matte medium, or you can get gloss mediums, all that kind of stuff. And this is just a acrylic resin, a lot thinner. So to get the mud, you mix that with your pigment and then you sort of thin it down a bit with this because just this pure stuff here is, is, is really, really thick. Um, but it really sets hard. And um, also you can add things like, you can add a little bit of PVA glue to the mix and that'll make it crack. So there's all kinds of things that I'm working out. So I'll keep you updated with my experiments in chemistry and painting and all that but yeah go down to a hobby store and get some of this chromacle texture paste stuff and get some matte mediums there's all kinds of different brands this is an australian brand but there's a really popular american brand that sells all the ranges of these at quite a reasonable price um but you get them from the hobby uh, the art store stop buying the hobby store crap um because all ak do so, what's on that? I must have spilled some of the um, pigment. But AK just mix a bit of this stuff in and call it a texturizer and charge your top dollar for it. And it's not good quality. Like, none of the AK stuff is good quality. It's really terrible. And if you go down to your paint store and get proper paint equipment and stuff, 
the quality of your stuff is just going to improve fantastically. Now, now that doesn't tell you on the bottles what to use them for, like bottle companies do, but um, yeah, just use your brain. Alright guys, I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.